Hello, 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 everybody. Good evening. I don't know what part of the world you are, what time you're watching this, but um, I'm very excited to start this off with you guys today. I'm going to teach you guys a really, really cool tool um, to get your business listed on on Google. All right. Uh, my name is Preston Martelli, and this is Marketing for Entrepreneurs, or SMART, as I like to call it for short. And today, what I'm going to teach you is how to get your business listed on Google. Let's get started right off into it. First things first, here's my mug. Uh, my name is Preston, as I said. I'm a marketing consultant. I own uh, Java Logics, which is a marketing agency, and we operate out of Ottawa, Toronto, and Montreal in Canada. Um, but we serve customers pretty much globally and um, throughout um, throughout the continent. All right, um, I'm a Google partner, so that means um, what that means is I've, I've been working with Google for some time. I've gone through um, a significant amount of training with them, and um, we do have um, customers that we manage their pay per click advertising and their online optimization. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is getting your business on Google. So as you can see right here, um, that's that beautiful display. That's all that real estate. That's a beautiful display on the side of Google when you do a search. So as you can see, when I did a quick search for my brand, I've got Google has given me this free um, real estate right here, um, which takes up about a third of the entire page, um, um, which is huge, right? So I can let customers know a lot of really cool things um, about my brand. Um, the other reason why you want to do that is, you know, look at these. These are, these are just some results. Um, we manage um, multiple um, profiles for different customers. So this is not just from one person, um, but on um, one of my Gmail accounts, because you have to attach it to a Gmail account. One of my Gmail accounts that I have a number of customers on, as you can see, there's a significant amount of traffic coming, from, coming to those guys. And this is pretty much all, um, you know, free traffic right coming to them and as you can see we're looking from august this is the month of september so things are a bit down from august because a lot of them um, are seasonal but nonetheless um that is incredible amount of traffic right you're seeing look at almost five hundred thousand views um eighteen thousand people um ask for um directions and and it, it's just incredible so that's huge value if you have a business and you don't have this set up um you're definitely losing out all right so here's what you get when you get a, a, a Google My Business account set up. And these are the perks you're going to get from what I'm teaching you here today. All right. So first things first, this is going to allow you to let new customers find your business on Google and in the maps. Right. So this is the equivalent of having a yellow pages listing before the internet was around, right? So um, if you had a, a brick, and mortar, brick and mortar business before and you wanted people to find you, you want to get um, a constant lead of customers, um, one of the basic things you had to do was list yourself on Yellow Pages. Well, today it's in the online world. It's getting a Google listing. The second thing, it's going to let you um, give you the ability to promote your business, right, with, um, with photos. And something really new that they offered is the ability to do post. Right. So so Google is definitely trying to, to dig into that um, that 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 um, social media type um, side of platform. And what they did is they, they went away with Google Plus and now they're offering this through the Google My Business. So you can actually put a post on on Google My Business and that will show up to people searching for um, one of the keywords that you're looking for. All right. The other thing is that you're going to be able to track the business analytics. So this is going to be cool because you're going to get to see exactly what are the terms that people are searching for on Google and that, that, that bring them to your site that brings you clicks, that's bringing you people so that once you start to scale your business and you want to start doing um, advertising, this is going to be a great ability for you to do so um, with that, that data. Right. And then last but not least, um, I'm not sure if you remember on the one that I showed you, one of the things that shows up right away is a bunch of people giving me reviews. Right. And, and fortunately, you know, it's great when you have lots of five star reviews, um, which is you saw that for me, because that builds your credibility right off the bat. And you want to make sure that people are seeing that, because if you don't do that and you aren't managing it, um, guess what? They're going to see, um, you know, that time where you do make a mistake or that time when somebody's not very happy with you. All right. So how are we going to do this? We talked about what it is, why you need it. And now we're going to talk about how to get it done. Um, so first thing you need to do is you need to go over to business.google.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Um, so you're going to have that link as a resource, but also um, you can you can also rewatch it because you're going to want to you're going to want to watch this video the first time with me. Um, so you get a gas a grasp of what I'm talking about. And then after um, you'll go through all of the steps. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is when you go to Google My Google, you're gonna to get to this page, it's gonna ask you to sign in, okay? If you haven't already signed in with the Gmail account, it's gonna make you do that. So right here, you're gonna to have to either have put in your current Gmail address, if not, you can create one. Um, Google does give you a, um, a, 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 G, a, a private Gmail account for free. 
Um, then you're going to want to search for your business, right? You're going to want to search for your business by name. So if you have a business, a brand new business, you're going to want to type it in here. Now, there are three things that could potentially happen. One of the outcomes is you're going to be a brand new listing. And once you put in the name of your business, it's going to prompt you to the next step like this, which you're going to have to enter um, your address, phone, your address, um, postal code, and so forth. Okay. Now, the other option is you your business is already listing so now i didn't have one that was not listed so what i did i did a quick search for a church and i know churches don't normally claim their business they're they're google my businesses so as you can see right here it says own this business so that means that you can just go in and claim this business and google will do a verification process which i'll show you and then the last one what i did was i just typed in web design and it popped up a web design agency in my area that was already claimed by somebody else and if this happens and this, this is your business you're going to have to send a request for that person to hand the listing over to you. This is the most complicated one of them all. The other two are pretty straightforward. Um, for the purpose of this conversation, we're just gonna start off with this one right here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to put in your, it's gonna, it's gonna mandate that you put in your street, city, province, and postal code. The reason why is that Google is gonna send you mail. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, Google's gonna send you snail mail right? The traditional postcard. And the reason why they're doing that is they want to verify that you're an actual business and you can actually receive that there. And you just aren't creating these ghost properties all over the place, right? So you can realize how polluted the, the, the Google My Business would get if they could just let anybody put a listing online. So what they're going to do is to, to, to block that is they're going to ask you to put in a, a physical address because if you're a real business, you can do so. Now you're going to say to me, Preston, what if I'm a home-based business and I don't want people knowing um, where where I live, right? I don't want that to actually show up as a point on it. Well, this it's cool. This uh, Google has thought about that already. So what they do is that you just check this little box off down here, saying I deliver goods and services to the customer. And then what will happen is that when you get your Google My Business listing, even if you verify it with your postal code and your address, when it shows up, it's just going to show a circle surrounding your area. It's not going to actually physically show where you actually are. Okay, so you, you, get, you get the ability to give like a service area. They're actually in the process of changing it right now. So depending on when you see this video, um, right now it's, it's October, um, November actually in 2018. So they're actually in the process of changing and I'm seeing some of the accounts updating this data. So um, stay tuned. I'll probably update um, the notes in the description once I find out exactly what they're doing. Um, then it's going to take you over to create, um, to choose the category. Now the easiest way to do that is you can just start typing in um, a particular category and you'll see what pops up. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can, I have a little too, I, I do this so often is that I actually have a, a, a page on my website. It doesn't look very pretty, but basically what I did was I got a list of all of the Google My Business listings, um, um, industries, and I actually just pasted them here because I, go, I come back to it so often, right? And then what you want to do to find a business, if you just want to start searching for ideas and names, um, what you do is you do Command F, right, on a, on a Mac, I think it's Control F on a PC, and then you can just start typing in um, a, particular, um, a particular niche to see what pops up, right? So as you can see, dentists, they got three different types of dentists. So there's dentists, there's pedi pediatric dentists, and cosmetic dentistry, all right? So these are three different types. So if you do all three of them, you want to list all yourself as um, the first one that's most important, and then add the additional ones as well. All right, so let's jump back to the presentation. Where did my presentation go? All right, right here, okay? So that's what you wanna do. You wanna put in your business listing. Then you're gonna to wanna to put in a contact number um, for yourself. So now if you've already, if the business is ready, then you just claim it, it'll automatically auto-populate. But if not, you're gonna to wanna to put it in here and then you're gonna to wanna to put in um, a website right here, okay? And then you can also look at this. You can create a free web website, um, a web base. Google gives you actually a landing page. You call it a website, but it's really, it's just a landing page right, uh, for your site. Then you're gonna wanna finish and verify the business, all right? So um, the last step you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select this final step right here, which is to finish um, the process. And as I said, these are the four things that you're gonna get um, with when you have a verified listing. As you can see right here, so you're gonna wanna verify your listing in one of one, two, three, four, three ways that they give you. The first one is you can, if your listings are ready online, they'll let you just give, they'll give you a phone call and then they're gonna give you a code that you're gonna need to verify it. You can also do by a text message. Text message is usually my preferred way because sometimes the phone call, you might miss it or not catch it. So if it's, unless it's like an actual business that doesn't allow text, I normally just do a phone verification by text. 
And then the other way, which takes a little bit longer, but sometimes you don't have this option here, is to do a postcard, right? Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to put an attention, somebody in here. So if I'm doing it for a client, I'll put attention pressed in so they know that this comes in because it looked kind of like junk mail because, you know, who sees mail from Google? It just looks like one of those flyers that comes in. So make sure they look out for it and then they, they post it. Actually, I think I should have a screenshot of one somewhere. I'll try and put one in here so you know what that looks for. It looks like when it does actually come in, right? And then what the other thing you're going to do is you can verify it at a later date, okay? So what I did for this exercise, I just clicked on verify for later date because I'm not really verifying an actual business, okay? Now you're going to be in your Google My Business dashboard, okay? Now what you're going to notice is that you've got a whole bunch of cool things here, which I'm going to go over some of the important ones in this video. And then you can see that your profile is only 30%. Right, so you want to get this full as much as possible. You ideally want to get it to 100%, um, but definitely want to do some due diligence and get um, this fill out. And the way that you do that is simply by clicking on each one of these buttons and then going down the list. Okay, so let's just jump into the first one. Um, actually, no, this is the second part of the screen. So this was just the top half of the screen, and now I'm going to go down to show you the second part. The important things here to mention is that Google actually does a great job at showing you what to do. Right, it's giving you some ideas of what other businesses are doing. So you can kind of get an idea of who your competition is and what they're doing on Google My Business. So as you can see, these guys are posting because this is something new to Google and they're trying to get people doing it. So they're actually showing you what other people are posting, um, which is I found that to be very useful in getting some ideas when I'm working with a new client and not sure exactly what to post. Um, this is actually all, is very useful for me to get some ideas. And as you keep clicking on this, you'll see more and more options going through. The other important thing I want to mention here is um, the cool thing about Google, Google My Business is you can actually download the app. So if you're on Apple, you can download it. And Android, you can download it onto your phone. Um, so you can actually manage all this stuff directly from your phone. Okay? All right. Sorry. Now let's jump into the options right now. So the first thing you want to do in terms of the list of things is you want to update your hours of operation. So put out here for people what days that you're open uh, and what times you can actually accept um, calls, right? It's kind of cool because when you do that, it, Google says, you know, open right now or open tomorrow. Um, if you're a business that's, you know, at the beginning, you're struggling, you're trying to get leads, I recommend just opening up around the clock, right? I had the first, I think the first two, three years of my business, I just had it 24 seven because what happened, I ended up getting a bunch of calls in the evening because nobody else was answering and they were too busy. So I would just take the call. Um, but, um, right now I, I, I've, I've kind of scaled that back a bit. All right. The next thing here is in terms of your business information, your company information. So what you want to do is you want to go through here and fill out all of this stuff right here. So, um, go through, add in your, your service area, your hours of operations, which you should have done already. Phone number should actually be done. Your website URL, um, any attributes, this is new. And then you want to get a nice content rich, um, SEO friendly description in here, right? As you can see for the business description, um, there is one limitation. It's only 750 characters. So it's not unlimited um, in terms of what you can write, but you definitely want to um, get some good content. And don't just copy and paste something from somewhere else on the web because um, whenever it's duplicate content, Google doesn't give it as much power as if it's something unique. So if you're writing it for here, just make sure you, you maybe tailor it a little bit so it's, it's a bit unique. Then you want to add up some images. Right now it's telling me that I need to verify the account first because obviously it's not verified. But once it's verified, um, you'll be able to pop up all these images and so forth for the brand. And these are all the things, you, these are all the categories. So you want to enter a couple of pictures for the overview of the brand. If you have flyers of, or, or things about the brand, by the own pictures for the owners, um, interior pictures, exterior, and, and so forth. So just go through these options. They'll give you some little descriptions on what each one of them stands for. Okay. Then over here, you're going to want to, um, down here, this is a really cool feature that Google um, introduced, I'll probably say I think about a year and a half ago. Um, it's really cool, the ability to create that landing page. Now, I know they say they call it a website, but I've gone through it before. It's simply just a really good landing page if you have nothing else. But at least this gets you started, right? And even if you have a website, I recommend creating that anyhow because that's just give you one extra place uh, for people to find you online. So um, I'm going to show you what that is, what that looks like. Here it is, all right? So simply said is that you're gonna get something that looks like this. Google's gonna put a generic image right here and um, you're gonna be able to go in and you know change the information, right? Change all the stuff and make sure it lads up. If you answer your hours of operation, it'll show up here correctly. Um, you can choose a call to action. If I had a phone number, it'd normally show up here instead of directions. And up here we'll have a directions or phone call button. 
right? The number of name of your company will normally be listed right here. And then as you scroll down the page, I didn't do that um, for this example, but you can actually get a lot more information about your brand, like your description and your post and the images and stuff that you do comes on this really nice looking landing page um, for, your, for, your, for your brand. All right, so it's a really good option if you have nothing else, okay? And the way you do that, you simply click on, click here, and then you have a choice of about nine different themes. I'm um, just really changing the colors and the fonts that are used. Um, in edit, you can edit all the data, all the information on there, like all the stuff that's right here, the name of the business, how it shows up. You can make this edits, and also you can edit the description that shows up below. And then here you can play around with the photos that are added. And um, I don't remember what more ads, but it has some more information in here of things that you can play around with. And then once you're done doing that, you simply go ahead and hit publish, right? The only thing in here that might be of a charge that you, you I, I recommend doing it, I think it's kind of cool, is you want to, you can buy a domain, right? And the domain is, I think, is like 10 bucks a year. And what that allows you to do is to put it on a, an actual domain rather than the, the domain that ends with business.sites, right? Now, some customers just choose to simply go up with the, the basic one, but I recommend it if you do have a brand or something like that, you can buy a domain and put it on, put it on that domain instead. Okay, once that's done, um, actually, I'm, I'm going the opposite way. I should have gone the other way, but um, we go up to messaging. So messaging is, is, is a really cool feature that Google has. Not many people are using that because that came out last year, January. I think it's our first time seeing it showing up in profiles. But this is the ability for people to message you. So just like you would do a text message, um, you can um, set up um, text messaging. So if somebody goes to your site, if it's after hours, they may not want to call you, but they can send you a quick text message, which I think is something that's kind of cool. Um, that's offered offered there. All right. All right, so yeah, so just moving on um, to the next step is, okay, perfect. So then, then it comes to posts. So that one goes right up at the top and moving. I think I'm bouncing around here while I was going through them, but um, this is the logical manner that's here. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna create some posts. Right, so when you create a post, I should have popped one on here for you guys, but I didn't do that. But anyhow, it's really cool. You can create a nice show. Oh, here it is, right here. So you can actually write a post I'm um, about your brand. So it could be an about a section. You could take. I would start off if you don't know what else, what else to write is is do a feature of each one of the pages on your website, and then feature it up here with an image and a link back to that page. Right, that's going to be very very good for your website and very very good for making people find your stuff. And then once that's done, you could post. Every time you do a new blog post, you can share it here. If you do a new video, share it on here. Or if you, um, if you have a promotion or a special you want to run, um, you can definitely feature that on this tool. And it's really cool because it goes right onto Google. All right? It's one of the coolest ways to get some free traffic. And, you know, I'll tell you the truth. We do these for customers. They, or oh, important to know, they only last for seven days on, to be featured on the homepage. And we do this for customers weekly. And let me tell you, there's not a single one that gets um, no traffic at, at all. Um, it definitely gets um, visibility and even clicks to it. All right. So after that's all done, you're pretty much done, right? Now all you got to do is you got to sit back and reap the benefits um, because the initial setup part is done and there is some ongoing maintenance stuff to do for it. But the, the, the heavy lifting and getting this up and running, I, I would say that, you know, you, you're a good part of the way that there. So I just want to show you something. Now this is this is I don't want to you know give you false, false expectations that we did set this up for, for some of these customers and we are managing it on an, on an ongoing basis to make sure we get the best and really optimize that listing for them. But you can see here's an example of one that's doing you know very well. And as you can see, like it's they got over four thousand views last month and they showed up um, you know almost two thousand times in the searches and nine hundred and five people took action. So I mean, 905 people either phone call, um, check, went to the website, or got directions for them. Now this business is a bit more seasonal, so that's why you see the drop in traffic. But let me tell you, uh, month a month, month of a month, year of the year, these guys are doing very, very well, um, and it's a big part of that is due to this Google My Business listing. All right, if you take a look at it, what you want to, one of the things you want to do is you want to click right here on the Insights button. That's along that sidebar again. And what you're going to see when you click on the insights is that you can actually go in and see some information about your brand. So, for example, you can check for the quarter. Um, I just blocked out the actual keyword because it was actually the brand name. But you can see that um, this Google My Business sh listing showed up and 298 people took action to that brand um, in the last quarter. Right. So this is really, really powerful asset um, for the brand. So that means out of all the people that search for their brand, instead of going to 
their actual website directly, they clicked on the Google My Business listing before they went into the, the actual website. So very, very use, huge. Um, here, as you can see again, they showed up in searches um, 1,900 times, right? Um, and then they had an additional number of times here that were people looking for the business by name or an address. Um, but but this is, this again, this 1,900 times is just pure free traffic that was given in only a month, almost 200 times this thing showed up. So if you have a business and you're not doing this, I'm telling you, you're losing out. Um, the next thing here is um, your, your searches. So it tells you exactly how many times you showed up, you showed up in on the Google search. So that's usually on desktop. And then how many times you show up in the maps, right? So that's when somebody's on the maps and they, show, and they, they make a search. And as you can see, it's, it's even higher. It's 6,000 times that this brand showed up in the last quarter. Number of actions. So as you can see, there were a total of 543 actions that were taken. Um, 362 people visited the website. So went to the website, made a phone call from the website, or actually submitted a form. And let me tell you, these guys are getting lots of sub-form submissions. Um, I can tell you from experience. Um, seven people requested directions. This is not really a, re a direction-based business. So um, they normally go to the client. So this is, I, would, I wouldn't even really count this number. And then they got 174 phone calls. Could you imagine what you do with 174 phone calls? How many of these are you able to close, right? Even if you do a really, really job, crappy, crappy job and you close, you know, 1% of those people that call you, which is usually a lot, a lot higher than that. I'm usually close 1%. That's 17 people that you close. And if you take an average transaction of, you know, you multiply it by how much is an actual customer worth to you. And I can tell you, these guys, average cu customers worth well over 500 bucks, right? So if you do the quick math, you can see that not having this, um, is would be a huge loss to this brand. The next thing is I want to show you in terms of these are these are where people request a direction. So I said this one's not really accurate because of the type of business that it is. But you can see exactly where your traffic is coming from. And if you zoom in, um, I don't want to zoom in on that too much to expose what the customer is. But if you were to zoom in on this, um, you can actually see what postal codes people are actually contacting you from, and then that would really help in terms of your marketing. You can see phone calls. So what days of the week are you getting phone calls? What days are, are, are more common for you? What days are more hot? So this is where you can take a look at from even from an, an operational standpoint. These are the days that you want to have additional staff on board, right? So definitely another great bit of information to get from this. You can see the photos, right? Remember before I told you that you can upload a lot of different photos to it about the brand, the people, um, intern, interior, exterior, pictures of your past work, and so forth. Um, by using this, you can see that we're getting um, a lot of views. So the brand is actually showing up almost 3,000 times just from the images that people are, are, are coming across. And images are very, very good in terms of the, it's, it's a very, very powerful search engine alone, Google Images. Right? And, and the reason for that is, as you can see, we're posting photos on an ongoing basis. Right? If you just leave the listing alone, this is his competitors. Right? People like him don't post often. Right? But we're posting up to 10 pictures. Uh, between us, we post, you know, post almost eight pictures a month, and our customers posted another um, two and a half, pic two pictures a month um, on our behalf. So this is really good, very engaging, right? Okay, so again, coming back to us, so who are we? We are experts. The reason why I can talk about this and I can talk about it so clearly and so fluidly is because we've done this a lot of times. As you can see on this account alone, um, we are managing 78 customers. And this is not the only one. I have different Gmail accounts because after a while you get, I, I've kind of segmented them by industries or by, by cities pretty much. Um, but this, as you can see, we got 75 of them, 78 locations on here. And some of them are, are unpublished for whatever reason. I have to go back and see why. But some of them are, are, but 78 businesses. We've done this process 78 times. We know what we're doing. We know what gets results. We know what drive things for people. And the reason I'm telling you this is that I'm giving you everything you need to do to go off and get this done, right? I do understand that there's a percentage of people that every time I, even though I give them everything you need to do, um, it's normal. You're running a business. This is not your skill. It's not your expertise. It's not what you want to be or spending your time. Um, you want to hand that off. If that's the case, you need a done for you solution, right? If you need a done for, for you solution, I, I, I encourage you to reach out, right? Contact me today and we'll set up a strategy call and we can see how we can help you, right? Um, that's what my brand is and I completely understand it. Um, and I, I want to help you. If I can help you with this video, you know, fantastic. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that this was worth it to you. I'll know to keep putting out videos like this. Um, if you feel stuck, 
no problem. Reach out to me. I will do my best to help you get this um, up and running because um, I know how important it is to your brand. I know how it's important to you. And, you know, I really want to help you. I want to get you off your feet. And this whole program, this whole smart marketing program is really about getting you the basics that you need to get yourself started so you have cash flow coming into your business that you can eventually start to build. And then when you're ready to scale, you reach out to me, you reach out to somebody that you, you know, like and trust, and then they can help take it to that next level for you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be putting out a lot more content like this coming up. Um, check the description. I'll have links to all the, the links and stuff I talked about in this video. And I look forward to, to reaching out and connecting with you. Have a fantastic day.